my name is Daniel Hill, and I'm the co-principal of Waukegan High School. I would like to welcome you all to the class of 2023 Summer Commencement Exercises. At this time, we ask everyone to please stand for the presentation of colors. Mrs. Floor 
Carter, principal of our Alternative and Optional Education Center, better known as AOBC. It is my honor to recognize two distinguished students that have earned the distinction of graduating with cum laude honors. This honor is designated by a green academic court. Would Adelaide Castro Lopez and Alexia Otambo Barranco please stand and be recognized We also have some graduates that have taken the oath to serve in our military. Please stand and be recognized when your name is called. Dylan Ivan Mendez. Thank you for your commitment to our country. At this time, it is my honor to have our superintendent, Ms. Teresa Placentia, take the podium for her message to our graduates. Good morning, graduates and families. Buenos dias. Graduates, families, and friends, it is wonderful to see everyone today. I am excited to see our staff, community, families, and more importantly, our graduates of the class of 2020. Please join me in giving our Bulldogs a round of applause.
grant on behalf of the entire Board of Education, which includes myself, uh, Vice President Ms. Anita Hanna, Mr. Richard Riddle, uh, Mr. Jeffrey Pride, Ms. Adriana Gonzalez, Ms. Carolina Fabian, and Ms. Christine Lindsay. So this is it. You are 18, most of you. You're done with your classes. Many of you are going off to college. Some of you are starting your jobs and careers. And others of you are going to proudly serve our country. You're finally grown and an adult, right? You don't have to listen to what your mom says. You can make your own decisions, right? I'm here to say that if you knew what I knew about adulting, you wouldn't be in such a hurry to grow up. It's a trap. But seriously, today we gather here to celebrate a remarkable milestone in your lives. It's the day that you graduate. It's an honor to stand before you as we take a moment to reflect on the past, embrace the present, and look forward to the future. As we take a moment to reflect, let us remember the challenges you all faced and overcame throughout your educational journey. You've endured sleepless nights, poured over countless textbooks, and persevered through exams and assignments, you had to learn on Zoom and adjust to a world on lockdown. Some of you lost loved ones and friends to what at, times, uh, what at the time was an unknown virus. You started your junior year in the mask. These experiences, while difficult, have shaped you, instilling in you the qualities of resilience, determination, and the ability to adapt. However, let us not forget the support you received along the way. Your teachers, families, and friends have been your guiding lights, providing encouragement and believing your abilities. They have cheered you on during your successes and offered a helping hand during your moments of doubt. On behalf of the Waukegan Public School Board of Education, and as a parent, I want to say thank you to all the staff members who love on our babies day in and day out. As we stand here on the threshold of the future, let us embrace this present moment. The world you enter may be uncertain, but you have been equipped with the tools and knowledge to navigate its challenges. You are the architects of your own destinies, and it is up to each of you to create the future you envision for this world. Embrace the unknown with open hearts and open minds. Embrace diversity, for it is through embracing our differences that we can learn to grow. Embrace change, for it is through change that we can evolve and innovate. Embrace failure, for it is through failure that we can learn valuable lessons and find the strength to try again. Now, I've normally been known to quote poets and philosophers like the notorious B.I.G. or Kendrick Lamar or Jay-Z, but today I want to quote one of the most impactful educators of the last century, and that's Ms. Frizzle from the Magic School Bus. Class of 2023, I want you to take chances make mistakes, and get messy. And so as you all leave our school buildings, I want to say thank you to the families who have allowed us to uh, pour into these students. And to our graduating class of 2023, I want to say that I expect great things because we all know that great things come from all of you. So congratulations. I wish you nothing but love and success. Congratulations, class of 2023. to Ms. Kelly and the stage team for a year. Uh, Ms. Kelly retired a year ago and she came back to help push some of you across the stage. So we want to give them a big round of applause. And now the portion of the ceremony that we've all been waiting for. Students, please make ready to receive your diplomas. And we're going to ask for the first row to please stand.
Juan Ángel Olea. Sonia Patino. Lalo Gendlin Pedrosa. Javi Eldan Pérez. Melissa Reyes. Thank <laughs> you. 